Welcome to the next video of One Thing. Camouflage is a way to hide from the prey or to see prey is the way that animals often use to survive in the wild. They often camouflage by blending the body color with the color of their surroundings such as stems, dry leaves or rocks. And indeed, there are creatures that camouflage so cleverly that we wouldn't be able to believe that they actually existed. So today, let's find out with one thing what species are capable of that talent. Let's come to today's video. Number 1. Mossy Leaf-Tailed Geckos Sure, this species must be classified as the first master of camouflage because when it comes to the gecko, people will remember the chameleon with its amazingly changing appearance thanks to the pigmentation on its skin. But in the wild, there is a species of gecko also capable of unpredictable transformation, which is the Madagascar Mossy Leaf-Tailed Geckos. The mossy leaf tail gecko is a great example that has surprisingly camouflage ability thanks to its rough bark like skin that disperses body shadows. They appear to have a thin edge around its chin and pull down the two sides of the body with a tail that resembles a leaf. They sometimes look like little wingless dragons that have been sleeping for so long that moss and lichen grow all over the body. The gecko habit is that they often lie flat on a mossy branch and the skin spreads around to reduce the shade that they create and look like the edges of the lichen. Because they disguise themselves like the objects they use to hide, it is extremely difficult to detect them. At the most, they are only detected when their eyes move. There are some birders that like to eat the mossy leaf tail gecko. Those are the eagles and the owls, so camouflage is essential to ensure their lives. In addition, their camouflage is also very convenient for hunting, and this gecko just starts hunting when night falls. However, they can also change colors to blend in with their surroundings like a chameleon. What a gifted nature animal! Number 2. Sign Widening Adder, also known as Betis Peringway. Hiding under the sand to hide identity, using the tail to fake insects to attract prey is the impressive art of camouflage to the sign winding adders. Sign winding adders is a poisonous snake belonging to Viperidae that lives in Namibia and southern Angola, Africa. This snake has a small size with an average length of 20 to 25 centimeters. They can travel up to 30 km per hour in the hot desert. They often feed on geckos and lizards. The special feature of this snake is its camouflage and ambush ability and is highly appreciated for its camouflage ability. With sandy, lumpy skin and the eyes on the top of the head, this snake can easily bury itself in the sand, only protruding the eyes on the top of the head to hunt. The prey can approach the snake without even realizing it, and with just one quick bite, the prey is easily caught, not to mention the venom of them. Although many other snakes in particular and other animals in general are very good at camouflage, the ability of the snake bit its pairing way to camouflage is assessed by scientists as perfect. Number 3. Bird Dropping Spider It sounds fun, doesn't it? Why call them with such a name? Perhaps they like to eat bird droppings? The answer is absolutely not like that. The bird drumming spider is one of the most unique and effective camouflage spiders in the animal kingdom. They disguise themselves by shrinking their bodies like a bird dropping to escape the sight of the predators such as birds and wasps. In addition, their bodies emit an unpleasant odor that allows them to disintegrate the attention of predators. That's fine, because no one would just sit there and smell that bad odor. Even though camouflage made them look slightly unhygienic, is it effective, isn't it? Number 4. Carpet Shark Referring to sharks, we know that they are cold-blooded, dangerous guys of the ocean world. And carpet sharks are an even more frightening species when they also have an additional stealth ability to hunt. Can camouflage is a coral reef and the color of the sand on the seabed. Carpet sharks always know how to prevent prey from reacting when attacked. These carpet sharks often lie on the seafloor to hunt for prey that swim past. 
The common prey of the carpet sharks is often invertebrates and small fish species. It is also true that up to 13% of sharks biting humans while diving close to the reef are from carpet sharks. So be careful when diving. Number 5. Europia meticulodina Are you sure this is a dry leaf? Wake up, you have been deceived by a moth. When it comes to the art of camouflage, few creatures can match Europia meticulodina, a small moth capable of mimicking a dead, curled up leaf almost to perfection. Europia meticulodina moth may be one of the best one in the list of camouflage masters. Its resemblance to a dead leaf curled rounded on itself complete with a tiny leaf-like veins is just uncanny. If it is not for the video evidence that this moth is real, I could have sworn it was just the work of a skilled image editing artist. The craziest thing about this fascinating creature's mimicry is that it's mostly an optical illusion. Its wings may look curled up, but they're actually as straight as those of any moth. The curled up effect is created by minute scales on its wings, which even replicate the shading of a curled up dead leaf. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. Number 6. Orchid Mantis Let's admire the beauty of this fairy together. An amazing makeup look even more unique than the others. The Orchid Mantis is a mantis species that live in the rainforest of Southeast Asia. This is one of several species known as the flower mantis that looks and acts exactly like an orchid's petal. Therefore, they are considered as some of the best camouflage species in the animal kingdom. They are even more attractive and able to attract prey than real orchids. This species is characterized by its vibrant color and a camouflage regulatory structure that mimics orchid flower's parts. Their forests are exactly like those petals. They can vary by 90 colors between pink and brown depending on the orchid color. Just looking at it makes my heart beat. They are really beautiful, like an orchid flower. That is when we talk about the beauty, but about geocentric, we need to learn more. Sure, behind the charming look, graceful curves and eye-catching harmonious colors is a whole sky of intrigue and horror. They possess the beauty advantages to attract insects to the bees, but the flies and worms are those that pollinate flowers. They often stand motionless on the flowers and wait for food to cross over. Once the food finds its mouth, it just eats. In addition, their appearance also deceives the eyes of those who want to eat them like lizards. Having a beauty body, eating prey, escaping the death penalty, nature is too favored to this animal. Number 7. Dead Leaf Butterfly Kalima inakas, a species of nymphalid butterfly found in India and Japan, is known as the orange oak leaf or dead leaf butterfly for a very good reason. With its wings closed, this butterfly closely resembles a dry tree leaf. It's been said that the Kalima inakas butterfly mimics a dead leaf better than an actual dead leaf, and as crazy as that sounds, it actually makes some sense. Somehow, these tiny creatures manage to raise its camouflage to such an extreme level that its wings feature a pointed leaf apex at the front tip and a leaf stalk on the hind sides, as well as a characteristic vein pattern, multiple shades of brown and orange, and even tiny imperfections like black spots or small tears. It is perfect camouflage artist. Number 8. Stick Insect Stick insects is one of the most exotic and interesting insects ever known to humans. Stick insect or stick bug has lengths from 0.6 inches to 12 inches, especially the giant stick bug with a length of 25 inches, a record in length in insects. With a distinctive shape that looks like a small tree plant, they are also nicknamed walking sticks. Thanks to the exact shape of these branches, the walking stick is famous for its skill in camouflage. Their only thing to do is to change color according to the environment. For example, the brown stick bar often lives on dry branches, while the green one lives on green branches. This perfect camouflage helps them avoid detection by predators. Nature has created really interesting animals, hasn't it? Which camouflage master were you most impressed with? Let us know in the comments part below this video. 
Don't forget to like, share to support us to release better video. Thank you.